Welcome back everyone. I hope you're all doing well. I've got another lesson for you. This is lesson 10 all about dividing whole numbers and I've got a really fun one for you today that's all football themed and I thought I'd start out with just walking you through a problem, um, just the standard algorithm for division and then we can kind of dig into some some fun problems too. So we're going to try doing 624 divided by 12. And I'm going to show you a couple of things that can really help guide you through division. So I'm going to start with a strategy that I put on the side of my division problem that I like to call daddy, which stands for division, mother, which stands for multiplication, sister, which stands for subtract, and brother, which stands for bring down. So it kind of helps me remember the steps in order. Daddy, mother, sister, brother, which stands for divide, multiply, subtract, and bring down. And we're gonna walk through all these steps to help you get this down. All right, so the next thing I like to do is I like to think about my divisor, what I'm dividing by, which is 12 in this case. And I like to think about groups of 12 because since I'm dividing, since I'm doing division, I'm breaking up a number into groups. And so if I know a lot about 12s, then it will make my job a little bit easier. So I'm going to make a, I like to do a 12 T-chart to help me know a little bit more about my groups of 12. I may not have all my 12s memorized. And sometimes we're going to be dividing by a number that we don't, that we're not very familiar with. So it's always a good idea to make a little t-chart. 1 times 12 is 12. 2 groups of 12 is 24. Okay, now that I've got a good 12 t-chart going, all my 12 facts, I'm ready to go. And I'm ready to start with the division step. So what I like to do is cover up the other digits and just look at my largest place value, which is six in the hundreds place there, so six. And I wanna think about how many groups of 12 could I make with just six? What do you think? Oh, good job. Since it's less than 12, I can't even make one group. So I'm going to put a zero right here. Some people skip that step, but I like to do it because then it, it holds that place value so I don't forget that this number is not gonna be in the hundreds place, okay? So then I'm gonna put a dot right here to show that I've done the division step, I'm gonna M multiply next. And I like to put a little X right here to remind myself of what I'm multiplying. I'm gonna do the divisor times the digit I just wrote. So 12 times zero is zero. Good job. Then, you guessed it, we're gonna subtract and we get six there. And then we're going to bring down the very next digit, just the next one. So this two right here. So now I've completed the whole, all four steps. And when I do that, I start over again. So now I've got 62 to work with. And I still want to be thinking about if I can make any groups of 12 with that. So let's take a look at our list. This is what comes in so handy, is that I can think, okay, I can make five groups of 12. I don't have enough to make six groups of 12, but I do have enough to make five groups of 12. So I'm gonna put a five right here, and I'm just gonna continue the dots, so I know I've done that a second time. And then multiply again, so 12 times that five I just wrote. And it's nice that I have this list because I can look it up. It's 60. Then I can subtract. 
and bring down the last digit. I know I'm getting close to being done because I only have one place value left and I just brought down my last digit. <clears throat> so I'm probably getting pretty close to being done. Okay, then back up to the division step. How many groups of 12 can I make with 24? What do you think? Okay, good job. We can make two groups because it's exactly 24. So I'm gonna put a two here. Okay, that's the division step. Multiply 12 times two is right here, 24. Subtract. Is there anything left to bring down? Oh no, that means that we are done. If there's nothing left to bring down, and this zero here tells me there's no remainder, that means our answer is 52. That's our quotient. Last weekend, me and my family were able to go to Kyle Field, which is the stadium at Texas A&M University. It was so much fun to cheer for the Aggies, and this was actually the second largest crowd in Texas A&M's history. So that is amazing. Okay, let's do some real life examples of division that you can find at a football stadium. So in one section of this stadium, there's about 750 people. If they're split up into 30 rows, how many people would be in each row? Pause the video and find out. I've got the problem all set up for you, and the first thing you want to do is make a list of all of your groups of 30. So here I go, getting my four groups of 30, five groups. Now we want to ask ourselves, how many groups of 30 can I make with seven? You got it, zero. 30 times zero is zero. Subtract. Bring down the next digit and start the process over again. So then it turns out that 25 people can fit in each row. Are you ready for a challenge problem? Okay, so in this part of the south end zone, there are 18,750 fans sitting in 25 sections. How many fans are sitting in each section? Now would be a great time to pause the video, set this problem up, and see if you can solve the challenge problem. Now follow along with my steps and see how you did. All right, so we got 750 fans in each section. Great job on that challenge problem, and I hope to see you next week for my next video.